Hello everyone, this is KJPC Gaming. We are back in the infected version 10.3. Uh, today we got, uh, we gotta get some food going and some water going. Uh, I made some planters and I planted some food and, um, which one did I do? There we go. And we'll put that in there and that, and we will go see, uh, the planters, uh, yeah, we got fish. We're not we're basically not carrying anything. Oh yes, I need to make a spear. Um, where would I be if I was a broken bone? <laughs> Maybe. Yes. There we go. There's a broken bone. I don't actually remember how to do this. Uh, bones. Ears. Three sticks and five plant fibers. I think we can carry that around. It's not like I don't need it right now, so... Uh, five. And two more sticks. One, two. Plus one for an axe. And a rock. So it's one. All right. We are officially out of stones. What well, need that one? <laughs> All right, we got that. We got that. We've got. Um, oh yes, we have spoilage going on. Uh, fuel. We've got a little bit of fuel going on here. Uh, Fish. We have a little bit of fish. I just went fishing. What's going on here? Uh, I must have taken that from two different boxes. I had to make a lot of nails. Uh, oh, that's where the rest of the coal is. Good to know. All right. Let's grab our water and our fish and turn this off. I hear a piggy finally. I've been hearing the lamb. Alrighty, so everything uh, is moved except for this stuff. It wasn't actually ready. Um, I have eaten quite a few things. So my stamina is 109. Uh, veggies and stuff up and coming. Hi, piggy. Woo! Pig, jump in. So uh, here's a garden area. All right, it's quite good actually. I think. It's what we need, and uh, some of that is going to go uh, into the greenhouse. Uh, probably these 12 right here will go in the greenhouse for winter time. Um, and okay, so the list of things that we need to do this week is um, we need to build a kitchen. We need to uh, move the refinery stuff. We need to build a forge room. And so uh, this is likely going to be the forge room right here. Um, maybe even right here will be the forge room. Because I really want to uh, put storage in here. Okay. Uh, over here. I have built one of the entrances. Pretty sure the truck will fit through that. Because I can't uh, put spike traps here or I'll have to get out and move them every time. And so probably, uh, what is it? Uh, oops, steel fences. How do we upgrade fences again? I cannot remember. It can be upgraded to cement and steel. Steel, uh, steel fences for the entrance. Um, over here, we are going to have um, uh, extractors. And so that's actually where we're gonna start is by moving our four extractors. And we're gonna have to do everything because I haven't uh, done any of this. Uh, I don't think I have anyway. 
Yeah, I did. I did do the... Ah, oh, my goodness. It's hard to remember when you're trying to do five things at the same time. <laughs> All right. Let's start grabbing logs. The, the cart is not as useful to me as I believe the truck will be. And because the truck holds a lot more logs and you can go way further with it. Oh, dear God. Uh, do I have any arrows? I have six. <laughs> we need to go make arrows. I forgot all about them. And yeah. <laughs> six arrows out of 40. <laughs> that would be... Uh, all the trip to the entire world. <laughs> um, yeah. Circumnavigating the entire map the other day was definitely um, expensive on the arrows. All right, let's go make some arrows. <laughs> I don't think anything's running, but suddenly the game is just the slightest bit stuttery. Just looking over there, nothing's running. All right. Let's grab some arrows here. Uh, that's not where... Oh, there they are. Feathers. Stickos. Uh, I've completely forgotten the bulk recipe for arrows. Um, oops. I have Pedia bulk items. Um, stone arrows is uh, 5, 5, 5, and 5. Okay. And that was... Um, yeah. We'll put those down there. And three more, one, two, three, and then stone. Uh, row. Uh, I have enough to make um, five. Now, where did I put that? I think I put it in here. Yeah, I did. Workbench. Five, five, and that was 50. <laughs> Um, oh, I forgot the rope. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, rope. Oh, that one's probably easiest. Here we go. All right. Five. Five. And we'll split that in half. That'll give me a stack of five and a stack of four. And there is some arrows, and we will live with that for now. I try not to get into too many big arguments. Okay, we're out of this stuff. That goes in there. And sizzle. All right. Let's go get a couple more logs. We have four uh, extractors here. We still don't need extractors on iron because all of these stones are all, I mean, extractors are copper because all of those are copper. And we're going to cut those up because we do not have um, any more stones. So I need to thrill, fill three boxes with stones. And this should be enough lumber to get those moved. There we go. Uh, why did I put it over there? <laughs> I do that all the time. See, I just don't... I don't care much about the cart. <laughs> it carries a weird number of logs. And it's kind of like loading them twice to go not that far. Anybody else want to be eaten by me? Okay. <laughs> when we get to the point where we close all of this up and start putting in gates and doors and all of that security stuff, it's going to be... <laughs> it's going to be really tiring, I think. Um, all right. That is good enough for that. And now we can go get our extractors and move them.
Here is one. And when we do need copper, copper, all we have to do is move an extractor. Um, although I have a feeling that by the time, I think I will face them this way. By the time we uh, actually, um, yeah, it's perfect. By the time we actually need copper again, we're probably gonna have a lot of extractors. Just so we'll just have some that are just on copper all the time and then we won't need to um, move them around at all. Uh, we do also uh, need to make probably another extractor for aluminum. And it was that. I'm trying to be semi straight here. I ran out of stamina. This is why I wanted to put the garden out here because. I don't have the water house in power yet. And uh, so this way it just gets watered. And uh, in the winter time, we will have to bring in the important stuff. Okay. Walk around here. All these stones out here are just stone because they're past that point where they're not actually on the thing anymore. Oh my goodness gracious, the stamina. Stamina. Can we just go now? Here we go. And uh, for those of you who are wondering uh, why I'm putting these on floors, if I just put it on the ground right there, I'm going to get copper. If I put it on a floor, this might be a shorter distance. And it might not be. Might be a much longer distance. We'll just keep going this way. Uh, if I put it on the ground, I'm going to get copper. So I put it on a floor because uh, you get iron when you do that. I don't know why. It might be a game design. It might be not a game design. How are we doing? OK. We need to uh, go get the boxes. Uh, for the rocks and probably um, pick up the bricks and put them away. I am, <coughs> excuse me, boxes for rocks, bricks. I am making bricks, uh, they're right here, and I've got a little bit of room. I do not have time uh, to pick up the clay right today. Oh, just pick up. You know you want to stack. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Eventually, someday, we're probably going to have enough people are going to whine that we're going to get a take all button for the bricks as well. <laughs> I think it's fine. I think it's relaxing to concentrate. All right, that is a good number of bricks. Uh, I can show you super quick um, what these walls look like next to each other. If I can remember where I put the rack. Where did I put the rack? There it is. All right, rack. Uh, yeah, we don't need that. Uh, stone hammer upgrade tool. There we go. Uh, so we'll just really quickly uh, just do this one right next to the stair here. Okay. And you can see, like, how much nicer that's going to be. I really do need a different hat. Where's my hat? I need to change my hat. I've been running around in nothing but a cowboy hat all day. <laughs> Alrighty. There we go. Hat. There we go. Now you can see how cool that's going to look. And if you can imagine, um, excuse me, a concrete floor here as well. We can do the other side. There's a difference here. Oh, yeah, that's right. It had to go back further because of this um, weirdness. I don't know why I did that. 
Well, anyway, it's what I did, and so that's how it goes. All right, let's get boxes. Here is a boxo. And in here is another one. Alrighty. And if we were, excuse me, if we were dragging the cart behind us like we do with the chests, then we could pick up a third box. But because we're pushing it in front of us, we cannot. And so that's why I can pick up you know, two chests, the cart, and another item all at the same time. Here we go. We need all of this stuff. And, uh, here's the copper. And I want to get this done. Oops. <laughs> jump, jump, jump. There we go jump <laughs> I kind of jumped one too many times there <laughs> there we go probably this is in the way now always there's the copper right there always make sure that I got the copper because I don't want to lose out on that, like totally free uh, copper. Let's see if this one is also copper. I can't exactly see the ground very well right now. There is copper there. All right, very cool. Uh-oh, should have brought the cart with me. Jump, jump, jump. Okay, fine. <laughs> oh, I've still got bricks on me, too. There we go. <laughs> Dude is thirsty. <laughs> He's like, why are you jumping? Thirsty, stop it. <laughs> Here's another one over here. <laughs> uh, no, put rocks in. <laughs> so... There we go. Is it time for the protein? It might be. It's pretty close to dinner time. It's, what is it? Uh, yeah, it's nine o'clock. Oops. Food. Uh, I may have overdone it there. Carbs. Carbs, they're free. Might as well eat them. And some more water. Here we go. Let's go over to the rocks. I think these guys are still on copper here. They look like they are. I am still just so beyond astonished at how much copper uh, I was able to get. And I don't know if it was just maybe uh, the luck of the draw. There's the copper. Um, I th it's possible. I need to uh, do some testing with that. Look at, I'm carrying so much weight. Oh my goodness gracious. Let's just do this thing. Let's just empty this stuff. <laughs> Wall. All right, we can put that right straight in. I never even put these away. There we go. Uh, that can most assuredly go in. Bricks also weigh something, but not that much. There we go. Uh, sticks because I really do really do need to make that we'll take uh, the three back there we go all right that should help now we're only carrying 29 pounds it's much better So when it comes to these exterior walls, you notice that the foundation is left uh, completely exposed um, when it's raised up like that. But what we're going to do is we're going to trick the game. It's going to be expensive, but we're going to do it. 
We're going to trick the game, holding down X and lowering the floor. I don't think I can go lower than that. There we go. Into letting us put walls here. Right? So we're going to have brick walls here and rising above them there. So there'll be a, um, a wall full height and a wall half height right here. Uh, oh, bear. Dude. I don't really want to contend with a bear right now. Can I get around this corner? Where is he? I probably can't. Uh, here we go. He can run up here now, by the way. <laughs> we need to go to bed anyway. But uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to have on the outside only, we're going to have that half brick wall up to this height. And then on the outside walkway, um, I'm going to find out what all these bits and parts are called. On the outside walkway, we're going to have exterior brick walls and interior wooden walls like, um, where's the stairwell? Like that wall right there. And uh, I just decided to, uh, energy is really high. Um, uh, I just decided that today because it's, it's a, tough decision because it's super expensive and it is going to take longer to do this because you have to do that before you can put the wall there and then you delete that to get back half of the material. I can only guess that he turned around and went the other way. All right, here we go. Let's get some more stuff. What time is it? 1030. We have more time. <laughs> I don't really want to be eaten by a bear, but if that's the consequence of getting rocks for tomorrow's work. <laughs> Where's my copper? There it is, right there. <laughs> ah, sheepo, you scared me, oh. <laughs> Here's another one. Is that potatoes? I don't need potatoes right now. All right, so let's take this in. Can we, there we go. Let's take this in and we will um, take a look at the stove and uh, see what we need, if we need anything. I think I will have the kitchen over here. And um, I usually put the sink in the middle and the stove to one side. So we might do that. So let's put the uh, stove in. That is the stove right there. It's so tiny, see? We might make more than one, so let's put it in the corner. Uh, we don't have uh, any ability to run refrigerators or sinks right now, but uh, the stove we should be able to make. Uh, 25 iron eight firewood and 10 screws. We should be able to make that. Let's see how much iron I have. There is 20 and there is uh, seven, I think it was. Uh, what am I carrying? Let's get rid of that. So just right here, right at the end, I think we can throw together a stove and uh, we might even have enough left over What's that weight? Perfect. We might have enough left over to actually make a pan. We will have to pick this up and move it after the wall is built to make it look right. I might even have to pick it up to put the wall in. <laughs> All right, there's those. We need eight firewood. Oh, cool awesome and 10 screws fantastic so now that we can cook food on a stove we will need coal for that you can put other stuff in there 
I prefer to use coal because um, in at least in my head it lasts longer. Maybe it doesn't, but in my head it does. Let's go ahead and fire up our new stove. Turn off the light. Nice. <laughs> it lasts longer if you don't waste it. All right, let's go um, see about what it's going to take to make a pan. Uh, Itempedia, food and drinks. Um, oh, it's not in food and drinks. Okay. It's somewhere. We'll find it. Others, a uh, frying pan is two irons, so I think we can only make one frying pan, but that's still huge. And to get that pan on there, we're going to engage the stove, and then we're going to pick the pan up and set it down until you see that green. And then when you're cooking food, uh, do I have any food? I don't know if I have time. No, I don't. Oh, we'll just grab that. Uh, let go of me. There we go. So when you're cooking food, um, first you need to engage, and then you set it down. You see how it's green? See how big it gets? There we go. And uh, we'll also make um, onion soup, which will bring up our ability, our, su our uh, thirst. If we can, <clears throat> excuse me, if we can eat a hundred onion soups, we will have um, a max thirst of 200, <laughs> which means we won't, uh, one bottle, if we're completely empty, one bottle it will take, an entire bottle to fill us. <laughs> so um, if you disengage with the stove, if you see, watch it, um, you see how that is? It says pick up pan pick up fish. It's very, very touchy. So you can do that, but you still have to engage with stove to shut it off. So there we go. We have the first bit of our kitchen. We have our extractors moved. We've got lots of rock for me to continue making um, more uh, frag with. And very quickly <clears throat> on the next episode, for sure, we are going to be making aluminum extractors and getting them out on the aluminum and getting some wind turbines built. The first thing we need to build that takes power is the oil uh, uh, extractor. I think it's called extractor. Uh, the oil extractor is the first thing. So you can see it is also going to require 15 aluminum. So we need... Um, 115 aluminum ingots to get an oil extractor running. <laughs> all right, you guys, I want to thank you all so much for coming along. It's super late. Let's get a sunrise out of this. I always like to get us a sunrise because they're so amazing and it's only a couple of seconds away. Um, if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. We are building a big, gigantic, huge house and, like, property. We're going to have, um, hello, bird. We're going to have towers on all the corners, and we're going to have a massive courtyard and two truck entrances and all kinds of extractors and oil rigs and all kinds of good stuff. So stick around, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you can learn along uh, on how to make all of this amazing stuff. If you're enjoying the content, then please click the like -o button and even consider sharing this. And as always, <laughs> have an amazing day.